everybody, and welcome to a brand new episode of Do Not Worry. Uh, joined by me, I'm Anthony, your host with Elijah. How's everybody doing? Uh, Newell is coming, she's just a little bit late, so we decided to start without her because it's already a little bit late. Uh, a quick heads up before we get into the episode. Uh, take a second to like the video, uh, leave a comment, uh, engage with this video, folks. We need your engagement. Subscribe to the channel, become a Do Not Warrior, or else I will <laughs> myself. Uh, <laughs> patrons, folks, we love our patrons. We cannot do the show without our patrons. The show would not be around. I could not, I, I could not keep a TikTok celebrity like Elijah around if it weren't <laughs> for, uh, for our patrons. Uh, let me take a second to thank some beautiful patrons like Nicolas Malouf, Ziad Mgherbel, Sarah M, Mo K, Antoinette Saab, uh, and some superhero patrons like uh, Joito, Ryan Nabulsi, uh, Nadim Reib, uh, Jab Dalla, and Joito. Again, we love you guys. We could not do this without you. And our super, super VIP patrons, the God tier patrons, Jessica Ann, Rifat Faki, and Burgery. Thank you guys so much. If you want to support this channel, if you want to make sure that I can keep paying the interns, uh, keep making special projects, fund the editing of the Joseph Medaib documentary, consider supporting us on Patreon. We cannot do this without you. We have a, an active, vibrant community of over 80 patrons. We love all you guys. You make the show happen. We're going to be talking about some interesting topics this week, like Zata Ruzit is in some deep trouble, folks. We've been talking about Zata Ruzit. We made a small TikTok that went viral. People seem to be connecting with the notion that Zata Ruzit is on a downfall, and they've been eating shit all week on, on Twitter. Uh, someone is ripping off Elijah's TikToks, folks. His, his, his famous format that, he, uh, that he's doing in the Middle East. Hadan Aratullah Elijah. So we're going we're gonna to react to some of those uh, copycats. It's kind of cool. <laughs> and is Lebanon too expensive? There has been a debate on Twitter. Is Lebanon too expensive? Are we overcharging for tourism and all that sort of thing? Uh, are we overpaying for sandwiches and eggs? We're going to talk about it, folks. First... She should talk about the shades. Why, do, why am I wearing <laughs> sunglasses? Why am I wearing a bandana? Folks, I may have a light concussion. Now, let's be... We don't know what this is just yet. We don't know that this is a concussion. But I was, I was doing what was supposed to be some light sparring, you know, on Saturday. With a young 16-year-old uh, guy who just joined. And about Bella should boxing. So it's supposed to be super light, but he's very, very inexperienced. Like, he doesn't know how to pull his punches. I was like, calm down, calm down. He's like, I don't know how to control my arms. So at one point, bro, out of nowhere, I get, I eat a hook to the face, either a right or a left hook. Literally, my ear for like three seconds, I couldn't hear out of my ear. Thunnit for like three, four seconds. I'm like, holy fuck. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I, uh, I took my revenge on that 16-year-old a couple of times. I was like, you want, oh, you, oh, you want to play? You want to fight? So he may have eaten a couple of, uh, a couple of nice little crosses to the face. I, I'm 32 years old, guys. I should not be feeling good about beating up a 16-year-old. <laughs> But he's fucking, he's huge, bro. Akbar minne, at al minne, like he was, I was scared of him. And every time, even when I would hit him, he would smile. Like he's like, oh, this is so much fun. I'm like, this is not fun. This is stressful as fuck. <laughs> you keep coming at me like a monster. So anyways, the next day I just felt taken. Hey, my head feels a little heavy. There's like a little bit of pressure on my head. And very, very, very bright lights kind of hurt. So like there's a fucking spotlight in my face, a ring light. Uh, daddy needs some shades. And the headband, hey, it puts, creates a little bit of like, a nice little pressure around my head it helps just take a soothe everything you know i i didn't do boxing on monday i just did just some lightweight training mommy to chi nothing with impact i'm taking a break i'm just gonna do whatever light exercises that i can until i get better you know and no more sparring for anthony that's it bruised ribs and concussions i'm done unless i'm jed yani light we're gonna like tap each other hey you know hey it's i don't i really don't know if it's a full-on concussion but uh, it's definitely a little something. I got, I got hit hard. Let's just say that. You know what I mean? So this explains the look. But I kind of dig the look. I'm not going to lie to you. You know what you I mean? You look cool. I was even... Uh, I had some... Did, did I copy the photo? I was, lift, I, was, uh, I was at the gym. I was lifting with some shades on, baby. Look at that. And look at that bicep, yo. Hey, well, look at that hey, bicep well. action y'all are getting here. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're coming for you. I'm coming for you, boys. Hey, the guy who's threatening to beat me up, be Beirut. Pow! I'm coming for you, boy. Enta Shubek. Explain it however, whichever way you like. And I've been uh, food poisoned by half a chicken, so I try Allegedly. One, Allegedly. One million percent. Can't imagine. I want to I can't have a chicken. I know, I know, but no, you know, we can't. You can't fully, fully prove it, and you know, we want to. I can. can <laughs> In light of your alleged experience at Hawa Chicken, we are going to downgrade it from a C to a D. Uh, e. Okay. Like like D, 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 D. Mafi, there's no ease. 
يعني ما في we're keeping it. D is the line هلا we're being respectful D is the line okay and as you guys know if you guys haven't watched our latest vlog we hit up uh, Swiss Butter they invited us over for dinner we had a great hey, time dear. Elijah Definitely. Elijah got himself a nice tomahawk steak then احنا on 16 mm came in they invited us for drinks Hadi gave us a hundred dollar voucher amazing well, we love Hadi we love 16 mm so let us take Swiss Butter from that B tier up to that A tier you've earned it Swiss Butter you've earned it. Uh, we have some more restaurants that we, we're going to add to this uh, tier list. Maybe next week we're working on a few other restaurants. And Michele, there's a lot of restaurants that just I've never eaten at. So at this point, I don't want to just like guess. So unless... <laughs> give me a suggestion. <laughs> no, 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 no. Today we're still on Zata Ruzet. But I'm even S-tier. S-tier? You're going to change... Zata Ruzet is my go-to You're going to change your mind. You're going to change your mind after we talk. I'm not going to talk Zata Ruzet. They've been eating shit on Twitter all week. <laughs> so <laughs> Zata Ruzet stays. I have no idea what's going on. Zata stays where they are. Hey, there's a moment that's still on bad level out there. Well, D. Zata Ruzet. You can see E. Ta 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 ta. Ah, Nadim. Sorry, folks. Nsina. Nadim. Where is Nadim? We're very proud of our little Nadim. But as you guys know, Nadim is a virtuoso young auteur filmmaker, and hey, he's gonna he's gonna go places. So Nadim is currently in France. Ana, he keeps telling me where he's going when I'm at the film, but I keep forgetting because Bidayan is showing Nadim. Ooh, he throws so many names. I mean, it's, it's the Oscars. It's the young student Oscars. Then like, I'm like, where is this movie going? So I'm going to read the what he's doing with this film. Short film, Maman. So the, this is uh, from Nadim. It's a festival named A Première Vue, organized by Copéam in Marseille. It's one of the most important festivals in the Mediterranean film schools. Maman won the Rai Prize. Rai, an RAI channel. Uh, they bought the rights to the film, actually. And it will be published and screened on their platform. Our boy. Good work. Oh, he says, basically winning an award there gets you shortlisted for the student Oscars and Cannes. So, like, that's insane, as you guys can imagine. Insane. So, very proud of our, very proud of our boy. Inta, have you seen his short film? It's Mama? beautiful. I and really I've like seen it. it. It's beautiful. It makes you cry. And I read the, And I, I did the fuck up. And I, when I was reading the script, I was like, fuck you for sending me the script, bro. It was like, it was like an afternoon. He ruined my day. So bravo Nadim, we're very proud of you. This is why Nadim Mannohone. So wish him good luck over there in France. I think he already won. He's not going to be any, he's, they're just going to present him, I think, with an award. He's not like nominated, though. She, or maybe an Anna Mishrahman, she mentioned. Anyways, folks, come uh, we're going to stick to Nadim Shway. That for last, uh, in the last episode, unfortunately, Hakina on the passing of the legendary Chef, Chef Ramzi. Ramzi. Anjad, a legend. Uh, Nadim, can I tell you like someone mentioned Chef Ramzi like the day before he died or there was like a coincidence with Nadim and Chef Ramzi. Well, the day after we talked about it on the episode, uh, you won't believe what happened to Nadim. He literally, he hears a bang in the bang. Oh, I swear to God, like he's not making this up. We're not making this up. We're going to go to the to see what is the source of the noise. Look at that, folks. It's a Chef Ramzi book. The Chef Ramzi cookbook fell from the cabinet unprovoked. All alone, folks. This is a haunting. This is terrifying. <laughs> we killed Chef Ramzi, and Chef Ramzi is striking back. He's sending a message, bro. I, know, I believe Nadim set this up. <laughs> and I believe, I believe Chef Ramzi <laughs> Sorry, is among Nadim. us. <laughs> Chef Ramzi is among us. Uh, what? What? Chef Ramzi. Uh, <laughs> is it? Zuckerberg versus Elon Musk. You want to talk about this? So Everybody's talking about this. So I don't think it will even happen. Yani. I know. But so no, would you pick? Who, who would you pick? You guys know Mark Zuckerberg, Elon. The, I, I fucking hate both of them. Especially Elon Musk. No, honestly, I couldn't care less. Who I want Zuckerberg to beat his fucking ass, bro. I want Mark Zuckerberg <laughs> to beat Elon. And I fucking hate Mark Zuckerberg. I'm off Facebook. I don't like I, any of them. I think what Facebook has done, Metaverse and all that shit, is horrible for people. I think social media is killing everyone. It's, it's killing attention spans. They're ruining children. They're creating anxiety in children. People who invent these social media platforms don't let their own children use them yet. We're using them like a bunch of fucking idiots. And to me, it's a necessary evil. I got to promote this goddamn fucking podcast. Or else I wouldn't be on fucking social media. I don't give a fuck if you're having eggs for breakfast. Having said all of that, Zuckerberg, I mean, I'm Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. He yeah. seems committed to it, you know. And I respect Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. I don't want to learn it myself because I don't want feet in my face and I don't want someone's crotch in my face. So, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm good. But you know, I respect it. If he's uh, disciplined, Elon Musk, Kef, Hashit Nikala Twitter, bro. Twitter, I still kind of, kind of enjoy. 
Shoe 600 tweet limit, bro. Like, uh, anyways, I, let's not talk about it too much. Safa DVD. Ah, uh, our bro. Tired for Safa DVD. Yeah, I saw this. Shafta? Yeah. We got a new offer. Hey, the Kamina Nadim, we have Hey, the Nadim. Hey, we're thinking of you, Nadim. He's his favorite. Hey, Dal. Hey, Alak Nadim. Hey, Alak. هيدا الكيف اواي اسهل كيف اواي اللي حتشوفه بحياتك كل اللي عليك تعمله مانشن لتنال رفقاتك ربنا يقدركم على الفعل والخير وما تنسونا اللايك والشير انه لك هيز نوت باد ذا ساوند افكتس ديبارتمنت هيدا ما بعرف شو هي اي دونت نو وات ذا انه عم بتفرق على السياره جانز انه لا عم بتفرق على السياره الاكزوست That's <laughs> anyway, and I, it's cute. Sharif, I like the guy. Weird, so. I like the guy. I know he's saying it on purpose. On his mind, I really. But so, Anthony, why are you making fun of people? I'm really dedication. Make the house hard, my dear. I am. I am here, my man. Look, none of us. None of us. I'm in pain. Ujit to prove that I'm not failing. Yeah, hable. On the podcast. Let's get to the podcast. Let's talk about it. Switch, we're switching modes. Lal TikTok tabak. Elijah is getting people ripping him off. Well, let's let and to recap, people. Shu said, "What's happened to you since we've last seen you on this podcast, Elijah? You've you've become a TikTok celebrity Relative. overnight." So basically, what happened? Anna, I was pla- like, I've tried TikTok so many times. Yeah, I'm sure like it was a secret master plan. I've always been on TikTok. It was normal and zapti chima. It was like very average views. Heck, if I had this like. في أمبر أنكل ديجون، which I'm not ripping off. I'm inspired by. مثل ما everybody gets inspired by something. و I have him literally in my bio. طال I did a market research. لاحظت إنه this is لتي ما في غيره بالعالم كله بيعمل هال content. وما في حدا بالعرب عنده هال content. So I was like, I have editing skills. Let me do this. So I posted one video. It went viral. So I was like, okay, let's see what happens if I post another video. It also went viral. Then I was like, I wanna like we would no speed. فوت خشب. لا but the, I wanted to speed run to 10k. Mm. Yeah, I want to speed run to 10k. So I was posting about the team two videos, two videos, two videos. I got to 10k now. It's one video a day. While I'm almost at 30k, I reached one million video wow. views on a video. Or like my average viewership is around 170,000 per video. Wow, it's fucking crazy, and I have no idea what's happening. That's crazy. Why would you want to keep doing this bullshit, bro? Mashi, it's another thing. It's its own thing. Hey, the shukhas to the marhaba and the kamen. Or you like comparing the viewership? Like shukhas, I'm chubby YouTube with the whole podcast saaten on a 20 second video. Everybody would watch it. No, yeah, but then like, how quickly did you get to 30k? TikTok is different. I know. I know. I know. So okay, let me let me quit this and finish TikTok. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, let's finish. Finish it. So I'll start doing dances. That's what got views. Dances? Yeah. The perfect. I know. I would die. Yeah. My these shades, well bandana, lovely. I'm not muta. I can't do short form, and I hate short form. Yeah. And a TikTok doesn't appeal to me because I don't want to have to think about a short. 10 second, 15 second video. I have to make one every day, or the algorithm would clip it for day. Like making mm. a one podcast a week stresses me the fuck out. Imagine, but the kill you, I would, I would hate it. You know what I mean? Hate it. Will burn out. Will, will, will. Yeah, uh, this I can. I barely do this anymore. Yeah, like I got you. Like I know, like every TikTok takes me around two to three hours to do. It takes time, yeah. One of the types of perfections, hot about everything I edit, so it's like minor details. Mm. I'm not going to be like over stressing on them. Mm. So yeah, it's because I think to get quite annoying, but no, I'm enjo- I'm really enjoying it. It's a nice uh, journey. Bravo, bravo, Khay. We're not. And other thing, after all, the work that I'm doing, it's lame and that. Like, I'm not doing. I'm not doing comedy. I'm doing literally dumb. I want people to watch this content and be like, what the fuck? What are you doing? I'm not doing anything. So my content is absurd. Hey, it's the like, title. Yeah, and I'm shocked about it. And to me, like, it's not, it's not appealing not to me. They, uh, they shouldn't be funny. Yeah, it's meant to be weird. It's like, what the like, fuck is this? That's the yeah, entertainment yeah. part about it. When I, again, like, I'm too old for this stuff, yeah, and too old for TikTok. Anyways, so there's a guy who's been. Bro, he's not ri- like he's ripping me off. It's too bad. I so could, I like, can't even think. Of again, it. for those of you who don't know, this is one of like, the largest. Al- video. I fucking hate that video. Thus, we have a comparison of the shark. I mean, a shark one, I'll take my new one. Okay, it's one of the first ones. So let's go. This is Elijah Shark one. That was the first one you made, right? Yeah, لا second. شوفوا شو فيكم تعمل إذا جم كرش عليكم. إذا عم تسبح لحالك وإيش كرش عليك دغري تسبح تحته وخلعوا لبطة على حنكو. 
وطلع القطو بدرسه وسلخنه بصارينه رجع طلع القطو براسه ومقف على كتبوع ضلك طايق لتلبط تكسر له رقبته مبروك عشت So we got a Hello, I'm known for the Mabruk Ashid thing. So when I don't include it in a video, they're like, well, Mabruk Ashid, when Mabruk Ashid? Yeah, you got, it's it's you got your gimmick. Uh, Bogdan the Talisman, God bless him. He's been, he's been inspired by your content, so he's been making his own <laughs> shark content. This is him, uh, a shark. It's so bad, bro. Okay, bro. Should I have one frame per second? How? <laughs> ماشي بتعملوا فليب بتضربوه بنيه وهيك بترجعوا بتقرطوه بوكس بتجيبوه برات البحر هيك ترينج برو حرام اتس دولار ستور رجع الشارك من السما واشط رجع بالبحر انتوا بتعيطوا لاكوا مان فبيجي اكوا مان مع هيسترايدنت وبيرجع بينزل الشارك بالماي هون الاكوا مان بيهجم على الشارك بشكوا بترايدنت وبياخدوا معه This is, this is making my concussion worse. This is so bad. Like, this is beyond shitty. So th this is, come in, this is what Elijah did about Dr. Food. Here, check it out. But I look at my early videos, she passed no. If she's happy for it, this is considered like early and bad. Uh, the third video I did, like Wait, this is Bogdan's, uh, is a Dr. Food Hajam oh Alek. So he's literally everything Elijah does, he's doing the exact same thing. So she is making my stuff look better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> خلاص جايز انا جد ماي 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 برين هيرتس باغدن ذا تالزمان جاد بليس هيم لايك هيز بين ا توك يعني هيز نوت جيتنج فولورز نو نو خلاص يعني هيز واتس كان از نو هيز جيتنج سام انجيجمنت يعني هيز جيتنج فيوز هيز جيتنج انجيجمنت بس نو يو جونا جيت ا لوت اوف كوبي كاتس ام شور يعني نور مش جاي يا نور هاز ازنت كامن سو غيرنا انجل لايجا زومد ان شوي شي حدا معلي تبلاجا هي وجايه و ات توك تو لونج سو شي جست تيرن باك ان لا يو كان تيرن باك اند جو هوم نو بريشر Uh, let's move on. Uh, Shwana knows job Twitter. Bad for Twitter. They always. Oh, by the way, this episode we're going to feature a lot of tweets from Rida Arnaut. Zakar Rida. Yeah. I've argued with her on Twitter. She doesn't like me. She we've had we, we've had our beef. She has yeah. a lot of hot takes. Almost every single topic we're talking about this week, Rida has given her take on Twitter. Every hot, every hot uh, very topic. She, unwanted. She opinion. hits. She loves that. Like she. I, I'm trying to extend a, a nose of friendship to, to Rida. We'll explain the nose <laughs> thing in a second. But uh, so let's let's start off with the nose thing. Tarfo, these Turkish nose jobs. Uh, people go to Turkey, you know, to get a nose job. Yep. Then uh, everything changes. So check this guy. This is the latest victim. Shufo. So as you can tell, yani, okay, you know, fi fi about yani fi a bone ala his bossu. My wife keeps doing in English. Bro, oh he, my God. he looks like the Red Skull. He looks like an entirely different person. Shocking. Yeah. He, looks like, he looks unrecognizable, bro. Like, crazy. You know what I mean? God damn, like, Ajad, a nose makes such a big difference. A huge so, difference. as you know, Twitter goes crazy. Twitter loves big oriental noses, my body of shoe, and they go crazy. They go crazy. So, there was millions of tweets like that. We just picked one, and they're all the same. She says, we must destroy the Arabs getting nose jobs in Turkey industrial complex, which is kind of funny. And I mean, look, of course, you know, people should always, you know, embrace how they look. But if you can't, and you feel like you'll be happier getting it, hey, though, you know, do it. And I don't mind. Hala. This is a very extreme nose job, and plus you can just shave off that thing. Yeah, a little smooth. Yeah, you just smooth it out. But it goes all like roimp. I'm like, oh, okay. Like you went there. So I know that's just. I know. I know. It's just like oh, okay. Like you went there. So I know that's just. I know. I know. It's just like oh, okay. Like you went there. So I know that's just. I know. I know. It's just like oh, it's a bit extreme. You know what I mean? So tons of quote tweets. Hala Rida had a quote tweet. Our girl Rida. That's the first feature of 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 the evening. She said, "From Greek god to podcast, bro." I took personal offense to that. The fuck does this even mean? Look at this. Look at this nose right here. Look at my, I got, I got a big Arab nose. 
You know, this ain't, this ain't no podcast, bro. Who are you talking about? I don't know if I'm flipping you. She hates me. You know what I mean? I don't have to say that, but I know. That's it, but you picked the wrong podcast, bro. I think Mu'ain has a small nose that goes retroussé. I don't know, you see. Look at that manly nose. Assyrian genes. Assyrian. All right, I'm the descendant of Malik Kambar Duvarda. All right, so. Those are no. What do you think about his nose? Uh, I don't, personally, I don't know. I wouldn't want a nose that looks like this. Which one? His old nose or his new nose? Both. <laughs> yeah, Anna Kambar. No, to be honest, like I know that before, if, uh, no. I know my nose, it's considered that. You know, to me, I think it's a bit big. You know, I would like to have it no, done. No, no. What if it gets too done? Or it looks too fake. I would never go for it. You have, a, you have a beautiful nose, in the mama bishi. It's very like Malfika. No, my friends, it's a nice nose with family. You know, if I don't like it, nothing will change that. From Shrek, but from Alam, they get these jobs. You know, it's so shitty. You know, on Twitter, I'm making massive art for it. Haram. You know, خلاص. أنتوا بدكوا نوريانتل نوز. عملوا أنتوا خلوا مبسوطين في. Yeah, I yeah, know. We always come to the same conclusion. Keep in uh, mind, you know, at nose jobs, and they're not all the nose they want. You know, it's kind yeah. of, you know. It's like when you go to a barber shop and all the different haircuts. Yeah. Like, which nose but the number four? <laughs> Give me the number four, please. <laughs> all right, motherfucker. <laughs> Oh shit, Sarchi. I used to watch these plastic yeah. surgeries in graphic, graphic detail, man. And I used to love botched. Rhinoplasties are so violent. Had the liposuction. Have you seen how someone does liposuction? But, but it's brutal. They fucking, it's like they suck. I'm, I'm <laughs> they're sucking insane. the fat out. I'm like, Jesus Christ, bro, you're killing these people. It's crazy. Zataruzit. Let's get to the fun. Zataruzit, folks. Zataruzit's been going crazy. Now we have a semi viral TikTok on our, on our, on our TikTok. And no, when we were talking about, we, when we ranked it out of the tier list, Hatayna, no one likes Zataruzit. We got like 40,000 views on that TikTok. Bravo, bravo. It's not it, bro. Twitter has been bajit la alam killa. We're gonna start with this was the first thing I saw from Ninet Diab. Now, just to mention, Ninet has since deleted that tweet. I don't know how I was still able to get it. It was I sent it to someone by DM, and I was still able to screenshot it via DM. But this tweet has since been deleted. She said, "Dear Zataruzit, I'm sharing this here because leaving feedback on your app proved several times to be useless. Here's the content of the eggs and turkey wrap that I ordered for five dollars and fifty cents. Thoughts?" Now, if you look at that sandwich in detail, uh, egg and turkey. This looks pretty gross and like fucked up for 550. But I will in in this case in Zataruzit's defense, the lady ordered the sandwich with only she only wanted eggs and turkey in that sandwich. So I don't expect how you wanted the wrap to look. So I think maybe that's okay, why she deleted her like tweet. I know the في more يعني. هي تلبيت بس بدها eggs وبس بدها turkey هلا. I can barely see a little piece of turkey there. Ooh, yeah, there's not enough egg and turkey in there, granted. But also, like, if you just ordered it with eggs and turkey, it's gonna look like a bare, shitty wrap, yeah. But let me, let me tell you how restaurants work. Like, you know, if you have, they have high quantity, they have eggs and turkey, with the other stuff, they have to be able to When you cancel the other stuff, they have to like eggs and turkey. Yeah, yeah. You know. Hala, I understand. That's fair. But I also think the problem she had was like that. The way the customer service responded wasn't satisfactory. Yeah. They didn't offer to send a replacement, or they didn't. They were just like, "We'll see what we can do," or whatever. Usarfi quote tweets Umit al Sharle, which inspired our girl again. Rida's making her second appearance on today's show. Rida Arnaud, folks, look at that. So she said, "Went to eat." I don't think she lives in Lebanon, but she might be here for a little while on vacation. I'm not going to say she's faking it just for clout. <laughs> you know, I believe her. She said, went to eat Zataruzit yesterday after the concert. I got a piece of plastic in my sandwich. What was the response of the person who was working there and obviously not trained at all? Sorry, it won't happen again. Yes, because I will never eat there again at Zataruzit. And here is another photo. It's a huge piece of like uh, plastic wrap, yeah. And if someone, ah, oh, what the fuck? If you swallow this, yeah, and Rida could have choked, yeah. And <laughs> say what you will about Rida and me and hers disagreements. I do not want her to choke on a sandwich. I want Rida to stay healthy and alive and well, uh, so we can keep getting uh, you know tweets of hers to react to. But no, Rida came in, you know, like, that's fucked up. So Ninette was complaining, Rida was complaining, and then Rida's tweet got quote tweeted and shared, and people replying with their experiences. Bizarreruzet. Shoot, what do we get here? Zataruzit replies to Rida. They're like, hello, Rida. Thank you for taking the time to share, blah, blah, blah. It's the standard automated response that yep. they do. 
uh, we have she's back to tweet. Uh, Karine uh, retweets their response and says, I just want to know what happened to your high quality food because I received the same response from the waiter and I was so disappointed. So it seems everyone who complains to Zat al gets a generic. We're so sorry this happened. This is an experience we want you to have. Anis replies to that art boy, Anis Tabit, and here's what he says. He said, they sent me the wrong dessert the other day and it poisoned me, allegedly. <laughs> Haven't felt this sick in years. I was like, what the fuck? And any sambit samma. Rida am te cherda bi plasti. Ninet rah te cherda ad manu neshi fa sandwich bil bedu turkey. What's going on, Azatar Uzet? When Anis, I asked Anis, but I tell the voice note, I'm like, what dessert, bro? I need to know. Because Anis said, I don't like Zatar Uzet, but I will always defend their cheese cupcake. Mm. So Tara Anis had ordered the cheesecake. Ma baatulu, eh? Baatulu, like some white chocolate dessert bil ghalat. He was like, there, he told them about the mistake. They still sent him the cheesecake. So he had the white chocolate cake thing dessert and he had the cheesecake. So he's not actually sure which one caused it. So from now on, I ain't ordering no cheesecake anymore. I'm taking my precautions. And the only thing that I enjoyed from Zatar Uzit, Misha Estadji Ekeloba. And he said, Samam Kamena, so best no Zatar Uzit, Trambi Sir. But full disclosure, Anna, I reached out to Zatar Uzit to ask them for a sponsorship in Zamin. A few months ago, when I, got, when I came back from the States, one of my goals was I want to get more sponsorships for the show. Uh, to try and support the show, support the podcast, make a little bit of money off of this thing. So I reached out to a bunch of restaurants. It was that that was it. Was one of the restaurants that I reached out to. Full disclosure, uh, and someone did respond from it, like, "Hey, thank you for reaching out. We'll reach back out to you if, if we think it would make sense to work with you." Then they never responded. Mm. But imagine if I were sponsored by them, bro. I would have to be like, "Yeah, no, they're delicious. Nothing's wrong with it." Like, like I know, yeah. honestly, yeah. Michel Sechi, well, a sponsorship, well, but you know. I really, really like that Rosette. Hello, who he has uh, his own TikTok account. Who he's looking la, for sponsors. La, la, mahas, uh, mahas. I told you this before the episode. Hello, so what can I make? Sponsor, man, can I like? Like, we can do it. Can. But I'm just gonna talk for. But I've worked with that Rosette before, come in. So I had like a phase where I had the menu was free for me. Oh, when I used to work with them. So I went through all their menu. I am an alpha chamsi. I was pretty good, and I still order them from time to time. It's like a. Guilty pleasure. Like, Anna, never. Uh, but I, I did have, once we shared our TikTok and we put it on Instagram, I did have a couple of people reach out, like, defending Zata Ruzit in the Yemed Zamein. They're like, best when, like when, when I went to AUB, I used to like Zata Ruzit, and when they had the old wooden tables, like, it was cool. Sure. 15 years ago, we all have fond memories of Zata Ruzit. I'm not on today. You know, today, they have more branches than ever. I think the quality control falat. Buffy Bakhtir quality control. Maybe. It lost its soul. It's soulless food. And I mean, mother, I kill it when I'm like the burger bomb. My body from and camp sinner like four years the ago. The boom burger. The boom burger. Dude, I threw, I took two bites. I hate him. I keep akil. I mean, it's a burger. I'm not exactly. I think I'm deaf. I broke a baito. It was the most vile burger I have ever eaten in my life. I took two bites. Mitl mahoe. Tara bizbele, bro unacceptable so ever since then i stopped ordering anything exotic looking on their menu i just stuck the lahm bajin jibne cup cheesecake <laughs> ever since then even those and again best with lebon if it's fucking 5 a.m and i'm gonna die so it's staying at uh, a d it ain't moving up <laughs> especially after what almost choked maybe maybe we're kidding we're kidding we're kidding oh no we only want you to be healthy. Definitely. Uh, so, uh, yeah. When I was like, Zat in my email to them, I'm like, we fit. Like, Zat Zit would be a great fit for, for, the, for our vibe on the show. <laughs> oh, we dodged the bullet there. I, gotta, I just got to say that. Listen, I don't want to work with any big, big companies. I want, I want to have the freedom to criticize. You know what I mean? Sponsors are kind of a problem in that sense. So, you, I only accept sponsorships from very specific, you know, businesses with partners. Because it, it really limits what you can say and... Uh, I just want to say stupid shit on the show. You know what I mean? Ha, uh, Especially with concussions. Who knows what I'm going to say? <laughs> Come in on Twitter. Okay, so we had a tweet. Oh, these are always fun. Come in. Anna Rida is coming back in a little bit. Uh, <laughs> Haram, man. Yeah, dude. She's in two more stories. She's going to hate me. Rida, Anjad, she can start her own podcast. She has hot takes that people agree or disagree with. She gets people fired up with her. Con- I think if she does a podcast, it could, it could be very controversial. Luhek so genuine, uh, I mean, you can become a podcast bro yourself. Come in, she has like a, not a big nose, but something like she has a nose. So we can, we can, rub, we can rub our oriental noses together and be podcast brothers and sisters. Paul Abinasser, haram. Hey, the Nedim Senia, he tweet fee. Paul, 
shares a store shares a picture on Twitter of like someone singing. He's at a club. He's watching a live show. He's having a good time. He shares a picture. This country refuses to die. He paid for it. The love of life is basically codified in our DNA. And folks, that was the last tweet Paul ever tweeted. <laughs> I can see how this one. Nizlo fi bil replies bil quote tweets. Let's read. There are some people defending him. We're gonna read a few a selection. Uh, George Adolf Hashem says, Paul, I'm in the middle of the African jungle since two years, trying to make a living for my family. So please, take that in consideration when assessing the Leb situation. Nizar Hassan says, Lebanon also has very unequal levels of disposable income, which is great at hiding suffering under a layer of love, uh, of life aesthetics. Dr. Alchemy quote tweets Paul and says, Resilience is the capacity to recover quickly from a difficulty. We didn't recover from anything. We adapted to the misery and injustice. Big difference. RM says, Amidst our challenges, those who can afford going out to enjoy what our country has to offer empower businesses and uplift working families. Attacking them won't fix education or health in Lebanon. It'll breed more hate and tension. Let's unite and uplift our beloved Lebanon instead. So RM is making... A normal point like and no hey it's not this guy's fault that the country shit attacking him won't improve your situation and i'll just let him enjoy his night out bridget Kher mountain oh she's testing us with this long tweet if she says she let's read it yeah i agree with paul love of life is in our dna inequality exists in every country at least with all that we're going through there are no homeless Ch on the streets with the highest refugee load per capita, we didn't collapse or lose hope. Against all odds and thanks to our amazing diasp diaspora. With this positive attitude, we as a nation will survive and will build back better and send the guests back home as Syria announced it's open for tourism. Wait, what? Is she saying we're sending the Syrians back home? Its own citizens should take priority to go home. Oh yeah, she is. Even before tourists, take heart. We will fix our country together. And we will never forget how the international community left us to die. Not meaningfully sharing the refugee, but dude, this is, this went in so many directions I did not expect. She tackled so many topics, what? Not meaningfully sharing the refugee burden with us in the middle of our economic collapse. So he, she jumped to the refugees. He, she's waiting for someone to say something, but fuck the Syrians! Yeah, sure, there are no homeless on the streets. My bad, the whole thing is wrong. Brigitte Kher, Mount, Mount, where is she from, bro? Brigitte Kher, she's Lebanese, but it's a mountain, that's a weird last name. Maybe Mjose Wahad Ajnabi. Woke of shame. I think woke of shame hates me. Yeah. Just because 10 to 20% of the people can afford lavish parties and restaurants, it doesn't mean that you don't have another 80% who survives day to day on or below basic needs and ration boxes. This country is on life support. So, what do we think? I think it's uh, it's just a fucking tweet. And you know, I think it's a, a tiny bit and uh, like ignorant. So going back, yeah, the original tweet, all it says is this country refuses to die. The love of life is basically codified in our DNA. Look, it is a little bit ignorant, but it's a tweet and it's a sentiment we've seen repeated about Lebanon. <laughs> An expat thing to it's say. A, it's a very expat thing to say. Uh, the people who are like attacking him, how dare you? But... Anna, sometimes I used to react, not like this, but I used to get annoyed by people like right after the blast or right after the Thoda, people going out and partying. I was like, this is kind of an insensitive time. Like right now, maybe maybe hold off right now. Mm. Or like a blast just happened, Fialam, that are homeless in the street, they don't have anywhere to sleep. Maybe hold off on sharing your, your clubbing photos. But so. no, two years have gone, have passed. Machino, it doesn't mean we, we forget what's happened. Of course not. But no. Should, people, should we all just sit home and cry and be upset and depressed all the time? There's people that can afford to go out. There's people that have some money to afford nice things. They're going to do it. Would I share? Would I write what Paul wrote? No. You know what I mean? Akid la. And Lebanon refuses. All these cliches. And I'm a Phoenix arise from the ashes. I'm not a fan of those things. It's so cliche and it's cringy. But no. You know what I mean? It's fine. I don't know if she commented on this. But en parallel. There was a discussion happening. Are prices in Lebanon too crazy? Mm. Rida shared uh, this from Mike. She loves, bro. She loves getting herself into Twitter. Uh, uh, I'm you know. She loves Mabayt, Mike. Exactly. She, she's into this stuff. So she says, an egg breakfast at Meet the Fish is $39. Where the hell in the world do you pay $39 for eggs at a restaurant, even if this restaurant considers themselves fancy and caters for the rich? <laughs> Hashtag do you know where Meet the Fish is? Saifa Village. Who passed their second branch when the HTC side? Their target audience is clearly not us. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So let's just read. The signature breakfast consists of hia ibada on poached egg with avocado on toast, ikura chili flakes, orange juice. So, I agree, bro. Look, look, Anna, and 
meat to fish has been expensive forever. Ever since I've so, been in Lebanon, I've never eaten that meat to fish because it's beyond what I can afford to eat. And I, I used to have friends that worked at Geek Express, Bisaifi Village, which was right next to a meat to fish. So I used to go visit my friends a bunch. I've bought like a cookie from Meet the Fish once. They had very tasty chocolate chip cookies. I could afford that, so I bought it. Everything else, I was like, no, thank you. So, yeah, is $39 expensive for breakfast? Of course, but for a guy who makes $100,000 a month, Mashi. 39 bucks is nothing. So, yes. When did they target like celebrities? Exactly. They don't want the yeah. common folk to be there. You know? Rida doing this, this is the equivalent of people sharing their bill. Cafe Matik, Bil Matar. Like chicken, egg sandwich. Like, of course. This is the equivalent of that. You're getting, you're riling people up. You're getting people like, oh, it's so expensive. But it's, this is the highest. This is super fancy. Why should be Lebanon? I don't know to charge 40 bucks. Let them. Just don't go eat there. I don't fucking eat there. Exactly. Man, she shared this. I don't know. Anjad, she spent like, I think she just looks through menus and like, <laughs> what, what can I share today? Uh, an avocado. I don't know what the fuck avocado is, by the way. An avocado. <laughs> An avocado at a coffee shop in Saida is $8.23. Does it have Ikura too? I don't even know what the fuck Ikura is. I'm going to tell you right now. <laughs> so if these things are too fancy for, like these ingredients sound fancy, they sh- maybe it is worth eight bucks. I don't know. But again, Yan, it, you, can, you don't have to buy there. Yan. Anna, for example, I don't think, do you think Lebanon is a lot of Definitely. It's normalizing, I think. I don't get it. 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 I don't get Which I don't get. And I think I'm not paying more. Like, for example, Crepeway. I order a lot of Crepeway. You guys know. George, yeah. hello again. Uh, he watched the episode, right? You gave him a shout out. Habib, not George. He's the sweetest. Send me a free dessert at Crepeway. Hello. I've been so nice to George. And he's been so nice to me. I love him. Uh, Crepeway, for example, I, I love their peri peri chicken burger. That's mm. it's a small, it's like three and a half bucks. And that I'm burger. I'm abusing their Heidel slider meal. So Bro, good. Fiktina says they're very good. Like a, a delicious, a very delicious crepe on Crepeway is like three bucks. Uh, a good chicken, a peri peri chicken burger on Crepeway is three dollars. Plat tawu min al melik tawu al fahm bijma fries, five bijma bucks. salad. It's like five six bucks. You can. I'm not. I'm not giving you the best, healthiest options. You know, ekel basno. It's grilled chicken. Tawu al faham. Yeah, that stuff is pretty healthy. When I eat a lot of protein after my workouts, I need tawu al faham. You can eat. You can find decently priced things. Be Lebanon, akid. Of course, if you're gonna go look for the most expensive stuff, you're gonna find burgers be thirteen dollar. You're gonna be like, what the fuck? When I'm be Lebanon, akid. Matan sual afi. You have tourists coming. Who businesses want to take advantage of tourists? But don't you Is it right? Is it ethical? No. But no. You can find cheap things. This is misrepresenting Kamen and Lebanon. No, I've never paid. I don't even drink coffee. I would never pay $8 for a latte. You know what I mean? And I've been living here. And yeah, I make my own coffee iced at home. I can know. Like, just buy what you can afford. But don't point at something very expensive a bit and, and claim that this represents the country and be like, this is how, how dare they? Someone tell me what is Ikura and avocado. I know what an avocado is. I'm not going to read this tweet. Too long. So she got a bunch of uh, replies with people that are telling her, why are you talking about prices? She's like, to the Lebanese geniuses replying to me defending the prices in Lebanon. Which yeah, Allah, Lebanon, third world country, which, if not less, mafilas. Which we're mafilas. not defending. Again, we're not defending the prices, but some, there are alternate prices that are cheaper. So it's unfair to just point to the expensive things when there are very affordable things. Uh, to the Lebanese geniuses replying to me defending the prices in Lebanon. One, Lebanon is a third world country, if not less. Stop being delusional. Two, every time you eat out, there's a high probability you're going to get poisoned by food or alcohol or choke on some plastic. Uh, three, pollution is everywhere. Four, businesses are charging in dollars and paying their employees in Lebanese lira. Uh, that's true. Prices cater for yeah, seasonal Anna, tourists. That's pissing me off so much. Lebanon is a third world country. She repeated that. Yes, one of the reasons I think, I mean, um, people are getting food poisoning is because employees are getting paid so low sad la ayron لا لا عن جد فكر فيها they don't give as much of a shit اصلا ما تعرف ليش تقريبا يوم 1005 بس الامبلويز ار جيتنج ديرت سالاريز لايك الويتر يا يا ذا سيرفيس اندستري از فاكت هلا في محلات ذي ار ستارتنج تو باي ان دولارز اون بيزيدو بس مش كلهم اكيد يو نو وات اي مين بس اي ثينك وان اوف ذا ريزنز واي فود بويزنينج از اب مش بس لانه بالرادات وما في كهرباء اوقات وما بعرف شو اي ثينك ليترلي امبلويز ار جيتنج بيد Pennies. Pennies. Bro, like they're not gonna, they're not gonna care as much. If they're gonna leave the mayo out a couple of extra hours, you know what I mean? They're gonna, they're not gonna put them like, it's it's to be expected. So once I think we salaries are raised again, I think the whole going out experience should hopefully improve because once the employee feels better and feels comfortable doing his job, he's gonna serve you better. 
you know, and you get b- better service, hopefully less food poisoning and stuff like that. Yeah. Just as a little little fun thing, Hisham Assad, fan of the show, a uh, famous chef, he recreated the meat the fish 39 dish with uh, belade. He got eggs belade for four bucks, a kilo of, of avocado for five bucks, loaf of sourdough for five dollars, some butter and cheese, and black caviar product from Greenland, four dollars a jar. So it cost him ten, fourteen, eighteen dollars to recreate it. بس انه اوكي والمطعم والدليفري والامبلويز بتصير تقريبا هالقد يعني بس يا يعني ذي سيم لايك اكسبنسيف انجريدينتس ذي سيم لايك اكسبنسيف فاكينج بريكفاست برو بس ذي كود تشارج 29 دولارز فور ات يو نو Uh, there you go. You have a choice. Like for them to keep that price tag and it's working for them. Okay, they don't give a fuck, man. Okay, hey, hey, the Lanur. Noor isn't here, but uh, Noor in spirit. This one's for you. Takis pasta. Hey, the I, I, hey, the kid ASMR. He's a guy be be tripoli be amit pasta. Bihke hekum namil al macaron al pasta. So weird. I just love watching his shit. His pasta looks disgusting. Which I can't believe. But so no, I like watching. Besides, my second Arab. Today. في عندنا انا اوردر ريجوتشيني اللي هي نفس الفيتشيني بس غير نوع باستا اللي هي هيدي الباستا اللي بنستعملها ريجاتوني آه بس مطلوبه مع حر فاقترحنا على زوم بدل ما نحط له حر نحط له تاكيز بدل الحر بحط لها تاكيز كثير طيبه مين بيحكي ما جربها ريجوتشيني مع تاكيز؟ انا ببكي اذا بطلب شي حر بحطوا لي تاكيز بدل الحر ببكي بقول لك بليز لا قرات معلومات عامه اذا بدكم نحن دوامنا هون بالمحل من الوحده الظهر للعشره بالليل اند لايك لوك سو ناستي دايما بنكون مسكرين كل نهار عطله لايك ذا هول ذا جاك اند فيو انذر كايند اوف باستا وذ انذر كايند اوف صوص بحط فوق اذا حدا عم يجي الاربع ما عم بيلاقينا فيسامحنا ويعذرنا بس ذس جايز بوبولار از فاك كثير يعني مشهور هي يوست هاف ليتل ستاند هلا هي اكسباندد وفتح مطعم So good for him, yeah. Oh, that, then that bro, had like cheddar, but then had just been. cheddar, man. So much cream and cheese. بنصحهم يجربوا المكسيكانا مع تاكيز او الريكوتشيني مع تاكيز شيء كثير قوي وطيب والباستا التنده مثل ما بدنا نبين التنده نحن حي الله ملاحظه بتقولوا لنا اياها بنرفع فيها بعين العافيه هلا ليك ونس اتس دان هيدي اللي عم تشط الجبنه الطيبه الجبنه شو انا سلطه هالفينك طيب I was gonna say it looks appetizing, but not. But after the tacos, it's good. Hey, the tacos are always. What should we eat? Hey, the brush it with cheddar. Oh my god! What? Cheddar the original. I would throw the fuck out. Come to Aliya. Sahten or Hanan? I'm dead. Oh. I'm dead. The shy cholesterol. All the cream, all the cheese. Hey, the Katrexa with Dr. Food. Hey, the old collab that I've never seen. What? So, let's see. Hey, the Katrexa with Dr. Food. Hey, the old collab that I've never seen. What? So uh, let's see. ماما قول لي قد ايه بحبها لكاتراكسا، قد ايه الكاميرا بتحبها، قد ايه ذكية، قد ايه قوية، أشطر بنت بالعالم. ثانك يو. ذا كابشن وز عم تنطف شعرها. ذا كابشن وز لايك شو رأيها شو شو رأيها بهيك شيء ولا سمثينغ، إتس جست فاني. دكتور فود بلاير هون مع كاتراكسا عم بي خلص، ذوز دايز ار جون، ذوز دايز ار بيهايند دكتور فود خلص. ايه هيز تشينجد مان. هيز تشينجد مان، قاعد عم يعمل برودكتس هلا، ويفرز وكيكس و Zoji Zahan, I'm not sure. They look horrible, by the way. That fucking cake looks disgusting. Diet Pepsi, folks. So there's a controversy. Controversy, Pepsi. Smata ya Elijah? Nope. So exclusive. This went on Twitter. Everybody started sharing, and I got my Diet Pepsi right here, and my measuring cup. And uh, I'm gonna pour myself a cup of Diet Pepsi while we read this article. Exclusive. Who's cancer research agency to say aspartame sweetener is a possible carcinogen? So aspartame is the artificial sweetener that is used in a lot of, you know, diet sodas that you drink, such as Diet Coke, Diet Pepsi, Diet whatever, a Mountain Dew. Most diet sodas or drinks contain aspartame. And I recently switched to Diet Pepsi, and I, we talked about it in our vlog uh, 
at Swiss Butter. Someone in the comments was like, Anthony, who just said it's a carcinogen? You shouldn't drink Diet Pepsi. Well, folks, let me tell you why the who is wrong. Here's my Diet Pepsi. This is how you drink Pepsi. Look at that. Mm, nice and diet. Zero calories, no sugar. If I had known that there was no calories in Pepsi. Mm. I used to hate Diet Pepsi, bro. Now that I'm an old man and I'm watching what I eat because of boxing and I'm, I take more care of myself, I fucking love Diet Pepsi. So let's see. Let's see what they're saying. London, one of the world's most common artificial sweeteners, is set to be declared a possible carcinogen next month by a leading global health body, according to two sources with knowledge of the process, pitting it against the food industry and regulators. Aspartame, using products from Coca-Cola, Diet Sodas, to Mars Extra Chewing Gum, and some Snapple drinks, will be listed in July as possibly carcinogenic to humans for the first time by the International Agency for Research on Cancer. The World Health Organization's cancer research arm, the sources told Reuters. But I have known the stigma for years. I mean, the the keys, I mean, yeah. Exactly. But the thing is that you need to ingest insane amounts of it for, for it to be toxic. So in the same article, in the same article, let me just scroll down a little bit. Uh, 12. They say, it, you scroll down a little bit. Uh, they say an adult weighing 60 kilograms would have to drink between 12 and 36 cans of diet soda per day. Every single day to be at risk. So yeah, and it basically, yes, aspartame in massive quantities is bad for you. And I mean, I remember a doctor friend of mine, Anis, uh, this was years ago, like 10 or 9 years ago. I remember we were like a burger place and I'm, he was ordering a Diet Pepsi. I was like, no, Anis, don't get diet. There's aspartame. And I saw in like a documentary that it causes cancer. He's like, a little bit of aspartame is fine. I would rather drink a little bit of aspartame every day than drink sugar every day. And that's what he told me. So ever since then... I was kind of like, oh, okay, I guess it's fine. <laughs> Ooh, it is. So this is, none of this is new. You know what I mean? People have been freaking out. Yeah, it's been Exactly. Exactly. Let me just... Let me just... And I'm switching to sparkling water. My 7-Up. Uh, sparkling water is, is, is pretty good as well. Uh, but what does Rida have to say about this Coca-Cola like man. Rida has a take well. on Coke. I'm telling you, bro, she's on everything. <laughs> Here's what Rida has to say about the Coke. So she shared that tweet. She quote tweeted, she said, there is absolutely no scientific evidence that proves aspartame causes cancer in humans. Cheers to that, Rida. Cheers, ma'am. There we go. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> See, I would get her as a guest. People <laughs> always ask, Lima Bajibo guests, I would get Rida as a guest. Beautiful. That would be fun. Yeah, one -on -one. That would be fun. Completely I'm, different I'm different. sure we would get along in person. I'm sure. Rida, consider it. No, no, I'm not. This is not an invitation, Rida. Ah, no. I'm just thinking about it. <laughs> If I want to do it, I'll formally invite you. Plus, you wouldn't come, bro. Uh, so there we go. We're almost about to be, uh, No, I, th I think that's the last thing Rida is involved in. Oh, okay. I think that's the last <laughs> thing. Uh, 961, folks. 961. They've spoken of us before. Guys, I'm not so Red July 16, 2022, they had made an article. It was like 10 underrated Lebanese content creators everyone should know about. And... Uh, they mentioned uh, the podcast. They mentioned me. They mentioned Elijah and Newell, the interns. Uh, they mentioned you guys by name. Mm. Uh, and that article was written by, I'm sorry, uh, I'm blind, Jana, Jana Zorbi. Zorbi. Jana Zorbi. Thank you, Jana, for the lovely piece. Well, uh, just a few days ago, uh, we were tagged in another piece. Come on, people were tagging us on Instagram. Weirdly enough, and I'm, when 961 had to post about us and they tag us, I can't comment. I've tried to comment, guys, to say thank you for the post. Thank you for, for, for mentioning us. I'm unable to comment every time 961 Binezlo on Instagram post. I'm sorry. I'm seeing these. I would love to say thank you in the comments. Basman, Bedir, and people are tagging us. I don't know why I can't um, comment. There's a new article. It's called, it's called uh, Four Lebanese Podcasts That Will Most Likely Change Your Perspective. And uh, they featured us again. So they, they only listed four. Hala, all my love to uh, the person who wrote this article is Celine. Selin, uh, thank you so much for the kind and sweet words that we're going to read, what, what, they, what they said about us. First of all, thank you for thinking of us. Thank you for watching the show and being so kind to feature us. Anjad means a lot to us. They featured some other podcasts. Let's just go over them really quickly. I felt like our, our selection was dampened when I saw some of the, our esteemed competitors. Like, no. If you guys remember Ryan Hayek, he's, he's the guy who, who, who interviewed Jibran <laughs> Basir. He's the guy who went and took a photo of my Michel Aoun. Like, this kid is a sellout maximum. Hey, that shit, kill she followers. The most generic, and hey, that bellash as a sellout, as a bootlicker. He's young, he can still change, but like the fact that, they, that he's also in the top four, 
not gonna lie, it zalit uh, shway. Uh, there's unjaded pod, you know our friend uh, Jad Dardakani, there he goes, he's got you know, his podcast. Then you get us, do not worry, consistent motherfuckers. We be dropping, you know, every week, almost, sometimes Anthony needs Bro, a break. Bro, I like the vibe of our thing, at the different, like it's on a whole other level. Yeah, I mean, no, nobody does what we do, you know what I mean? They're doing interviews and stuff. Let me read what they said about us though. They said, get ready to burst into fits of laughter with do not worry. The podcast hosted by... Two. Genius? It just says genius. Where's comedic genius? Uh, hey. Get ready to burst into fits of laughter with Do Not Worry, the podcast hosted by the comedic genius. I'm a comedic genius, apparently. Mm-hmm. Anthony Sargon. In the midst of economic and political turmoil, Anthony's infectious positivity <laughs> shines through. How infectious is my positivity, Elijah? <laughs> rate, it, rate my positivity from You're one to comedic ten. Comedic genius, you earned it. La- You're com- super funny. I felt infectious I f- positivity. <laughs> Bro, I felt I felt kind of embarrassed like when they called me comedic genius because like I have a lot of very funny like stand-up comedians who follow me on Instagram and stuff. Like I share this as a joke, and I'm like, those guys work every day on their comedy, developing like someone just watches my podcast and, and it's like comedic genius. Here. I mean, maybe I'm a little funny, but... No, you're super funny, like maniac, sarcastic. I'm, I'm not a comedic genius. I appreciate it. Thank you. Cheers, Celine. But no, uh, positivity. I think it's too much. positivity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's my I, We literally, I just had another existential crisis while we were filming this. I'm like, should we just stop filming this episode, Elijah? <laughs> Continuing. Uh, Do not worry is a sanctuary of laughter, where the absurdities of life in Beirut are celebrated and turned into comedic anecdotes. He paints a vivid picture of our city's quirks, mishaps, and moments of hilarity. From navigating daily life to making the most of every situation, Anthony's comedic charms uplift spirits and reminds us all to find joy even in the face of crisis. Yeah, Latif. Yeah, no, I'm but so that's very true. I'm gonna give myself a, a round of applause. Hala, one, one criticism. I, know, I love Chalo Anna. One criticism, if I may add, Yasirin. <laughs> you didn't mention my interns. The interns are a key part of the show. Yeah, no, the show couldn't happen without them. Hala, like five hours ago, they reposted the entire article. So let me check as Saria. Maybe they, they mentioned us. Maybe they re- maybe maybe Rayaru or something. Uh, Saria, let me check. Maybe they just removed us. Like fuck this guy, he's gonna shit on. No, us. no, we're in it on his podcast. I can't accept anything nice. Even when people like rank us, I find a way to complain. You know what I mean? Even when someone writes an article about us, I have to be a dick about it somehow. I guess that's why you guys like our show. Sanjet, so sweet. Yeah, and I, I cannot say how. Uh, yeah, and very, very. And it, I do the show. I don't know who watches it. I don't know if anyone really cares or appreciates it. So thank you. It means a lot. Best, <laughs> best next time, I would like, please mention the interns, Elijah Noor and Nadim. Yeah, and the show, Sanjet cannot happen without Walao, them. Celine. Walao. Yeah, and it's not the same. And finally, we got Beirut Banyan, uh, uh, Rani Shatah, very nice dude. Uh, his political, uh, hey, conversations and stuff. So Kamene's in the top four. I'm glad to be with uh, with uh, with Rony actually. Rani, that's the, that's 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 some good company in there. So there we have it. Thank you so much to Celine for featuring us. Uh, means a lot. Thank, it's just I'm glad that people are enjoying the show. Okay, whatever it means. You know, it keeps me, uh, it keeps the show alive for another two weeks. How about that? You know what I mean? Instead of canceling it right away. JJ, like, like you have fucking articles about you. Like, you comedic genius. Comedic genius. Oh, look at that. 7,000 views. Yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm. Hey, one of our, we got 8.5K, Mishman I'm in. See? Uh, so that's that. Thank you, 961 Anjad. Thank you. You're making me, you're making me postpone my suicide. I'll Jesus. kill myself a little bit later. <laughs> Uh, for all this failure. Now oh, we're almost done. So that was the 961 article. True about fever. Maggie Burson, child abuse. Hey, the muffin machi. I don't even know if it's real or if it's staged. Okay, I just saw this on Twitter, bro. Let's see. We'll decide. So Maggie Burson stepped in to protect a child that was being beaten by the mother. So the mom is the blonde lady. Maggie Burson is the lady with the black hair. So Maggie Burson is protecting that child from his crazy mom, apparently. You can Maggie, you know. And it doesn't look staged like they're no it doesn't look they're staged. shoving yeah and if you, if you I don't know, bro. If if this is real, Maggie Burson's a fucking badass, bro. Hey, bravo. I like, love she's her such now. a G. Like she took command of the situation. She's holding the kids. Like get the fuck away, lady. Feed child protective services be the name like she 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 what yeah, what's gonna happen to the kids and she's I think you have to like adopt them now because Benny you know she's a celebrity though 
يمكن بس انه ايه انه ما في تشايلد بروتكشن سيرفيسز هون مش لازم دل الدرك انه ليك اسبرتيم ريلي داز هاف ذات سبيشال ليتل كيك Some people on Twitter were saying it might be fake. Some people were saying it looks no, real. It looks nothing fake. It looks like, real. It looks real, bro. It looks real. And you fooled me. If it's if it's fake, consider me fooled. Bravo. Consider us fooled. Folks, we're going to call it a night. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. I hope uh, my... Again, mish concussion. I don't want to... I don't know what it is. Maybe it's a light concussion. Let's say light concussion. But don't. I hope my light concussion and, and uh, Elijah's diarrhea hasn't... <laughs> Food poisoning. Food poisoning. You, bro, that is fine. We've all we've all had diarrhea. Yeah, it's not like public. We've all had the le- vomiting, Kevin, the leaky brown you. stuff, you know, leaking out of the butt. The leaking and puking. You puke too. Yeah. It's the tomb you said that did it. You think? She am zawim. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> Anna side am I, bro? Anna, I've had pizzanini alleged poisoning, or I've had the boneless bar poisoning, bro. Uh, like three days, I was in bed after these poisonings. So Allah istur, Allah istur. Uh, let me just take a moment to thank our beautiful, beautiful patrons with whom Anjad without Mafina, hey, the show, our got your patrons, Jessica and Rifat Faki and Burgery, our VIPs, Burgery, the best burgers, Bitripoli and Burgery. When we do the second round of uh, restaurant tiers, you're getting you're raided. It. You're getting raided, baby. And uh, it's looking good for you. Uh, thank you to our superhero patrons like Rea D, Danny Karam, Ryan Nabulsi, uh, Daniel Nekhle, Joey To, my friends from uh, Sages High School. Love you, boys. Uh, we have blonde patrons, Daniel Habib. I haven't seen you in a while, Danny. Why not? Karen's Cravings, who has also launched her own Patreon, folks. If you guys like Karen's, if you know Karen's Cravings, you want to support her. She travels. She does food stuff. Follow. Now we're supporting Karen on the Patreon. She supports us. We're supporting family. Creators supporting creators. You love to see it. Dr. Octopus, thank you guys. Anjad, we love you. If you guys would like to support us on Patreon, you know. Find a tier that's right, right for you. you. Well, we might we consider. I want to do a live show with a live audience. Wow, super! I'd love to do it sometime. Yeah, and uh, you know, before we end the show, forever and ever, I'd love to see your beautiful faces. We do a nice little fun show. Coffee, meet and greet. To put in the comments if you would be interested in a live show sometime this summer. And how much you'd be willing to pay for an entrance fee? It'll be. And I don't think I can charge more than ten dollars. La, that's too little. Too little, bro. Okay. This is a free show that they can watch for free. Misha Hijo. Yeah, in person, they're meeting you. They sing in person. I can feel like guests. And it's going to be insane. Like, it's a two-hour show. That's like a fucking concert, you know? I'm not famous enough to charge 20 bucks. And I think you can charge <laughs> 20 <laughs> to 30 bucks. You can charge 20 bucks. You're not famous. TikTok celebrity. You have your code. You're going to get out of here. You're going to get out of What is it? Mabrook. 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 Where is Mabrook? What do I do if it's a bear? Killer. شو بعمل اذا كيلر ذا كومنتس تحت الايجز فيديوز انا بيقتلوني كيلر كيلر شو بعمل كيلر شو كيلر ما في كيلر انه عم لك كيلر شو انه اذا كيلر هجم عليك سيريال كيلر شو بعمل عن جد ما بعرف برو بيحكوني كلهم بيكبوا كلمه كلمتين لا لا طب وولف بير ما بيحكوا الانجلش شارك بلا فيك يا واحد انجلش شفتهم شفتهم جاد بلس يو جايز جاد بلس يو جايز اند از اولويز